As motoring journalists, we often get to drive cars when they're brand new. And of course, we assess them in terms of how they go, how they stop, how they handle, how comfortable they are, how practical they are, uh, what the performance spec is, what the economy spec is, what the sort of budget is that you need to buy them. We can look at all of these things because that's what we get when the car is brand new. But what we can't tell is, you know, whether or not it'll be reliable and also how much will it cost to keep it on the road? Well, fortunately, there are websites that do that. And uh, I do get asked questions like that, but of course they're questions that I necessarily can't answer unless I own every single car for five years, which obviously is not possible. A brown car guy. Brown car guy. Right, so this is from Car Edge, and what they've done is they have ranked cars in terms of the cost to maintain them. So this is the cost to maintain them um, up to five years. So how much it has cost them, cost the owners to maintain those cars up to five years? This is what they've looked at. And uh, what they've done is they've broken it down, first of all, by brand and then by actual model as well. So what I'll do is I'll look at the brand first. So we'll, we'll go through that list. And um, the lists are quite extensive. So for example, the brand list is actually 19 cars so probably most if not all of the major brands are covered in that and um, the model list as you can imagine is even more extensive but let me go through the brand list first so the brands what we have is number one probably no surprise to anybody Toyota and they've come up with the maintenance costs so five-year maintenance costs so number one brand Toyota maintenance cost they've given $1,780 so that's significantly lower than the next one which is 2012 $2,012 and that is Fiat and that one really took me by surprise not to cast aspersions on the uh, reliability of Fiat but of course don't forget this is to do with costs and uh, that took me by some surprise that actually number two in terms of the cheapest cars or cheapest brands to maintain is Fiat, which is part of Stellantis group, of course, especially as this is an American website. Number three, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi no longer officially here in the UK in terms of its dealership. Of course, they did until recently sell cars here, and a lot of people are running those cars. Um, so this would be important to them. But that was number three. $2,049, so only a little bit more than Fiat. Only a little bit more than that, again, $2,060, was Volkswagen at number four. Volkswagen. Number five is probably the manufacturer that I was expecting to see at number two after Toyota, and that is Honda. Honda was $2,121. Number six was Mazda, $2,148. Then come the Koreans. And number seven, Hyundai at two, four, two, sorry, two, four, two, two, four, six, $2,246. And then if you're expecting the next one, number eight to be Kia, not quite. There's an interloper. And believe it or not, that's a Mini. Mini, yeah. Mini comes in at number 8. And that's $2,285 sorry, $2, over the 5 years. Uh, number 9 is then Kia, which is $2,318. Number 10 is Subaru. And I'm just going to read out the rest. And I'll put these on screen so you can see them. Uh, Nissan, Buick. Chevrolet, uh, Dodge, we're up to $3,000 now with Dodge, Chrysler, that's number 15, GMC, 16, Ford, Jeep, and then a massive jump actually, quite a substantial jump. So at number 18, Jeep, the cost there for the five years was $3,393. And the next one is actually number 19, is actually Ram, part of the same family as Jeep, also part of the Stellantis group, also part of the Fiat group, which remember was number two. The Ram group, Ram product, is at $7,254 for the five years. My goodness. Hey, are you liking this video? Then make sure that you hit the like button. That's really important. Also, tell everybody. 
So let's break it down in terms of the um, the make and models. So again, this is list. This list is. I will not do this entire list because the list is how many cars? <laughs> 173 cars. So I'm not going to do the entire list. That's for sure. But I tell you what. Let me give you the top 10, and then maybe I'll scroll down and look at who's at the bottom of the list. Number one is the Toyota Yaris. So that's again no surprise. Five-year maintenance cost 1,321. And number two is the Toyota Corolla, world's best-selling car by far, 1,342. So very similar. Uh, number three is also a Toyota. That's a Toyota Prius, and the Prius comes in at 1,350. And the number four is another Prius. It's called the Prius Prime. What's the difference between the Prius and the Prius Prime? Well, the Prius Prime apparently is electric. Well, it's more electric, so it actually runs more as an electric car. Um, I don't know, actually, I've never driven a Prius Prime. If you have one, let me know. <laughs> and that's 1,376. Number five, another Toyota. That's a Camry, 1,455. Number six, another Toyota. That's the Avalon, which is like a bigger Camry, if you like. 1,492. Number seven is Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Mirage, which is kind of like a, um, it's like a cult saloon, looks a bit dumpy. Um, that's 1,588. And the number eight is the Honda Fit, which is the Honda Jazz to us. And that one comes in at 1,599. Then you've got number nine is a Mitsubishi, again, Mirage G4. You've got the Nissan Versa. I think that's like a Nissan Sunny saloon, isn't it? Nissan Versa, that comes in at number 10, and that is $1,709. A number, I'm going to carry on a little bit. Number 11 is, the, I knew I said number, I said top 10, but yeah, there's so many cars on the list. Let me go on for a little bit longer, yeah? Um, next one is a Toyota Supra. Well, I'm guessing, well, I don't know, because they say five years. Five years, how have they got the cost? Has it, has it been five years since the new Supra came out? They've got that at number 11. And that's at 1,737. You know what? This list is so interesting that I'm going to go on to do you the top 25 make models. doesn't really do it justice otherwise if I stop at 10 or 11. So number 12, Honda Insight, which is the hybrid. It's sort of the equivalent of the Prius for Honda. And that was 1,742. Then you had the Volkswagen Golf at number 13. That was 1,745. You had Mazda 3 at number 14, 1,772. You had the Toyota CHR. I really like the CHR. 1,776, number 16, the Honda Civic. At 1,800, number 17, the Nissan Sentra. That was 1,800. Number 18, the Hyundai Elantra GT. That's 1,802. Number 19, that was number 18. So number 19 is the Nissan Leaf, of course, all electric. That comes at 1,804. Number 20 is Mazda 6 at 1,808. Number 21 is the Honda Accord, 1,811. Uh, 1, and then you've got number 22 is the Hyundai Veloster, which is 1,827. The Volkswagen Passat comes in at number 23, and that's 1,834. Then you've got the Kia Rio, which is at 1,836. And at 25, you have got... Um, a hydrogen fuel cell car, yeah. They still sell them in America. Technically they do here as well. I think the Toyota Mirai. But it's not the Toyota Mirai, it's the Honda Clarity. Honda Clarity at 1,837. Thereby proving the viability. And you know these numbers don't, you know, up to, the, up to 25 cars, the numbers haven't grown that rapidly. Let me see where they really start to jump. Then they jump at, well, towards the end really. Yeah, again, we're down to the Rams. Just, yeah, it's all Rams, really. All pickup trucks. You've got at the bottom of the list, 173 at $8,306. is the Ram 3500. Above that, Ram 2500. Above that, Ram 5500. Above that, Ram 4500. Above that, the Ram Pro Master Cargo Van. Above that, the Ram Pro Master City. Above that, the Ram 1500. Then you've got the Ford F1, F450. Super Duty, $5,164. Above that, the F350, the uh, Super Duty. Above that, the F250 Super Duty. Above that, the F550 Super Duty. And then the Chevrolet Silverado. So funny, that. And that's uh, $3,500 at uh, 
dollars, 4,822. So it's funny, isn't it, that pickup trucks, which are the most popular, well, most of the most popular cars sold in America, they're proving to be the costliest when it comes to maintenance. Anyway, it's interesting. I know it's very American based, but it's interesting. I know it's, for some people, it'd be quite relevant. Some of my Middle East uh, audiences will also find it quite relevant. But it's interesting to see where the brands fall in that and where certain cars fall in that. And uh, what I think would be very interesting is if you know the cost of your car over five years, why don't you put that in the comments and we'll see if we can build up our own little database. Catch you all in the next video. It's caught in a race, tales from the future's face 13 stories, gonna take it out of space From Martian canyons deep to Dubai's high rise Secret lives, AI drives to the man who flies Pedal to the metal in a 325 Race through time, keeping hope alive AI takeovers, more lines than blur Get your engines ready, rev it up for sure Quantum races, lessons at the finish line Fast-paced fiction, it'll blow your mind Tap can turn, more survivals to grind Get lost in the pages, see what you find Tomorrow's man leads Dystopian dreams where the future feeds From India to the Middle East Stories collide Uncharted roads in this epic ride Jump in the driver's seat, feel the thrill Spinning through the cosmos, chasing that chill Words without wheels, secrets to unfold In quantum races, legends are told Quantum races, lessons at the finish line Fast-paced fiction, it'll blow your mind Tack and turn, more survivals to cry Get lost in the pages, see what you find Shout out time guys, thank you so much. Hey, if you enjoy my content, why not get involved? Buy me a coffee. You can do that at either of these links. Or if you're watching on YouTube, buy me a thanks or take out a membership. It all helps, it really does.